What's up everybody? This is going to be a two-day video. Tonight, it's Saturday, May 6th. Tomorrow will be May 7th. So again, this will be a two-part video going over the grass event and what we find. The live stream yesterday <laughs> didn't go very well as planned, but we announced the winner for the TCG codes. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the fun grass event vlog. And we're at the cluster spawn. And there's a Bulbasaur. First one tonight. Many more to come. Why is this an augmented reality? <laughs> um... Oh wow, this is bad. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Hey now! You're an all-star. Get your get. Don't want any copyright infringements. Stick to your day job, Taylor. Yeah. Woo, one bubble sword down. Can it be a good IV one? And he's bad. Okay. Might be some more here, though. It's the cluster spawn. Well, there's some grass spawns. And they're gone. I don't know why, but Sun Curtain is spawning more than, like, rabbits multiplying. It's ridiculous. Uh, fun fact. The grass biome is messed up. Like, or the grass festival. Certain biomes are not affected in getting increased grass spawns. I don't know what biomes they are. I will assume the desert biomes and stuff, or the rock biomes. But there are biomes that aren't being affected by the grass festival, and that's terrible. All spawns are supposed to be increased in every biome. So that explains why I, we were in a water biome, me and Kevin, and we weren't getting hardly any grass spawns for the longest time. So you probably want to stay in your grassland biomes to see the most highest changes in grass spawns for Bulbasaur, Tangela, Chikorita, etc. So just thought I'd let you guys know that. And yeah, uh, Niantic kind of messed this festival up a little bit. And it's not really that great, to be honest. But for some of you, I'm sure it is. I'm rambling, so let's keep walking. 2K egg hatching, the only one I got. And... Geodude. And there's also a bike. Look at that grill. It's spring cleanup. Sorry, this isn't Pokemon Go related, but... Me and Kevin are checking out the garbage. We're garbage pickers right now. First rare spawn of the night, Skarmory, and AR is still on. <laughs> oh gosh. I turned it off, I thought, but apparently I didn't. Skarmory, definitely a really cool Pokemon. I mean, does Skarmory really even need a second evolution? Probably not. A mega evolution? That would be sick. It would, it would, it would kind of make sense, too, to be honest. So, we're downtown, we've caught a little bit of Chikoritas here and there, we've had to move to get them. We got two lures going on right now. We've also caught a Bulbasaur here and there, but nothing too crazy. Nothing like a Bayleaf spawn, an Ivysaur spawn, a, an Exeggutor, um, you know, Venusaur, Megame, nothing too crazy. So, if we get a crazy spawn, definitely going to check back in. The craziest spawn we've had is a Skarmory. And that's not even that exciting, really. Again, I'll kind of reiterate this. The Grass Festival, it's not that great, honestly. It's just not that not that great. Honestly, also a great spawn would be a Tangela, actually. That'd be an absolute crazy awesome spawn. Tangela is rare. It's not often you just run into a Tangela, so... We'll check back in. If not, <laughs> I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. Not a very successful night. And we're going to end the night on a Chikorita. Got one right next to my house. 49 CP, so might as well pin that bury it. This has basically just been... This, this sums up the night right here. A Chikorita here and there. A Bulbasaur here and there. A bunch of Sunkern. A bunch of Executes. No Executors. No Ivysaurs, no Venusaurs, no Bayleafs, no Meganiums. 
I don't know why I'm checking the IVs. It's not that good. So Saturday, day one of this day, two-day series. Complete. Just nothing too crazy. Again, maybe, um, maybe the grass event will be better tomorrow, the grass festival. Maybe they'll increase rare spawns, who knows. But as of now, it's not that great. I mean, I know some of you still don't have enough candy for a Bulbasaur. Some of you don't have enough candy for a Meganium. And these small amounts of candy are helping. But here's the thing. The water festival was nuts. You got plenty of Magikarp candy or plenty of any water type Pokemon. For this grass event, pretty much all you're getting is plenty of Sunkern and ex Execute candy. So, we'll see. If tomorrow's any better, if we get some rare spawns. And I have a feeling that we probably won't. We might get one random rare spawn like that Skarmory, for example. But, alright guys, I'm heading to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. Just got out of the shower. Day 2. Sunday. It's around 7.10pm. Gonna go downtown, meet up with Waylon. Maybe we'll get some better spawns today. Some better grass type spawns maybe a tangle an ivysaur a bay leaf something man this event needs to start cooking it up man i'm telling you ridiculous all right let's go and we are downtown uh didn't really come across any rare spawns on the way here but we're gonna take down these gems we've taken down two gems well waylon took down one by himself but i helped take down the other one Two gems that have been mystic for months. So those people are P-I-S-S E-D. -S and I just got an error message. Really? See, we have eight gems. I can collect it eight. And we get these two. That will be ten. And is Waylon fighting this right now? Is it taken down? I have a Tinder message. If you ever meet anybody on Tinder or and or date them, just say you met at church, right? <laughs> oh, I don't like this matchup because Snorlax just takes so much damage. 2606 though, that's pretty decent. I'm pretty sure that's uh, Long Murky Mercs. Whoa, Heavy Slam, that hurts. Will you touch me? The river is like extremely up. I might not win this fight. I'm not gonna dodge. Nope. Can't stop me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Lights are coming on. I win! Let's put something crazy in there. Should we troll? Let's troll. Uh, let's throw something cool in there. Throw this in there. Why not? There's a lot of people over there, and I don't know why. River's pretty high. Check out that Steelix though. It looks sweet. Okay, we're gonna go take it down this other gym. Um, I will see you guys if anything good spawns. And I think Kevin's on his way here too, so that's probably where we'll pick up next. Claimed at 10 coins, 5,000 Stardust for the first time in like months. Awesome. Well, here we go. The rare spawn tonight. 
Right on. These two caught it, but I'm not going to spoil it for you. It's crazy. Hit him right in the gut. It's funny that the rare spawns, whoa, are Pokemon that aren't even involved in the actual grass event. And then Waylon just caught a ditto. I just caught two Rhyhorns down there. This is crazy. Is the ditto any good? No. Okay. Yes, just caught this right, right on. Rhydon, oh my gosh. It's only my third wild Rhydon ever. Mud Slap Stone Edge, best moveset. And Waylon confirmed that this is an 87% IV Rhydon. Holy smokes. That's what we're looking for, boys and gals. Heck yes. A rare spawn indeed. But still no Tangela, still no Meganium. Still no Venusaur. Well, here we go. Venusaur. We're actually driving over here to get a mill tank, which is like not even 50 feet in front of us. And it's 1182 Venusaur. Holy smokes. Yes. I haven't seen a wild Venusaur. Oh my gosh, he's red? Wild Venusaur. This is awesome. Don't you run from me. Has anybody caught him yet? Nope. Everybody's struggling. Getting that curveball great toss going. Have been. One. Oh my gosh. Hey, Kevin. Yeah. Flashback. I'm going to be out of everything. Probably. Past 2% IV. <laughs> <laughs> this is right where the Blastoise was, too. I caught mine without even a great toss. I got and what kind of moveset we got? Are we usable? Are we usable? Yep. Razor Leaf Solar Beam! Oh my gosh, usable. That is at the perfect CP level for prestiging. Like seriously, 1182, that's perfect. That's exactly what I'm going to use it for. And there's a big girl. Instead of Big Daddy, it's Big Mama. Big Mama Milk Tank. Go ahead and catch this uh, Bulbasaur too. Now we're on to something. First a Rhydon, now a Mill Tank, and a Venusaur. We're cooking with fire, ladies and gentlemen. We're cooking with fire. Ah. Finally making up for it. They must have increased some rare spawns or something. Just got this. Bulbasaur now. Bulbasaur any good? No. Let's go ahead and pull around the corner here. Do not play Pokemon Go and Drive. I think I've said that as a disclaimer before. Alright, let's go right around the corner here. That should be enough for a mill There it is. My first ever mill tank. Same with Kevin, too. Sweet. 338. Um, pineapple berry? Let's go for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mill tank has decent stats, actually. Let's go. I, I don't care if it's good or bad. This is a new Pokedex entry. Heck yes. Zen Headbutt Stomp? Not very good. That's okay, though. Overall, it's already been a successful night. Rhydon, plenty of Bulbasaurs, plenty of Chikoritas, a Venusaur, and now a Miltank. So if anything else pops up, which I absolutely doubt it, I will film. But until then, we'll see what happens. Well, made it back home. Nothing really crazy spawned for the rest of the night, unfortunately. We did get in a pickle battle uh, with gyms. It was pretty fun, but it got late, and I have school the next morning, so. That's it with the quick one, brothers. Make sure you guys subscribe, give you guys the latest updates, tips, tricks, and speculations. Uh, the next video will be going over the grass event as a whole, see if it really was a good event or not, and we'll discuss everything that happened during the grass event and what we can look forward to during the fire event. That's the event I think that's coming very soon. And as always guys, thanks for watching.